What's up guys, welcome to part two of my ASO series where I share my personal strategy, how I'm able to get tens of thousands of organic installs per month from the App Store without spending a single cent on marketing. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I find the right keywords and which free tools I use for that process. So if you have seen my other videos in ASO, you know that I use three tools religiously uh, when it comes to keyword research, and that is Sensor Tower, uh, Data.ai, and Apple Search Ads. I know there are many other tools out there, but these are just the ones um, that I have grown accustomed to that I've been using over the years. Um, so yeah, I'm, the other tools pretty much do the same thing, but these are just the ones I'm used to, and therefore I will be showing you these ones. So follow me into my computer and we're gonna see what that entire process looks like. So right now we are in the free version of Sensor Tower. All the tools I talk about in this video are free, um, or at least have a free version. Um, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna to go to the left here, App Store Optimization, and then underneath you'll see a Keyword Rankings tab. You click on that and it will bring you to something like this. And the first thing I do when doing keyword research is to look for competitors in my niche. Um, so I recently uh, released a beer pong game and now all we're going to do is add a new keyword and we're going to type in beer pong just to see who are the top 10 uh, players in the space. And um, the nice thing about Sensor Tower, it's easy, pretty easy to read. Um, so you can see the term beer pong. It has a traffic score of 3.1. Uh, iPhone difficulty, 7.4. iPad difficulty, which is not really that interesting to me. Um, and then iPhone apps, how many apps are ranking for this keyword? 196. And uh, then we have uh, our current rank. So if we look at the top 10 here, um, basically, you want to find a competitor that is not running any ads. Remember, we are all about the organic traffic. So if there is a competitor that's ranking high in the searches already and they're not spending any money on uh, paid user acquisition, that means we can kind of follow their blueprint and see what they're doing. So if we click on, let's click on the second one here. And... Uh, it should tell us whether this um, particular app is running advertising. And here you can see advertise on any network, never. So they've never run any ads and uh, they're ranking pretty high um, on the app store. Actually number two for beer pong. So the next thing we'll do is we will go to data.ai and we will type in this particular uh, game. You can see I've already got it here, uh, Pocket Pong, Beer Pong. And on data.ai, it will actually show us, if you go down to ASO Keywords on the left here, it's actually gonna show you uh, what keywords uh, this app is ranking for. And it'll give us a list. So you can see Beer Pong is number two, uh, Pong 21, Pocket Arcade six, uh, so you want to see which uh, top 10 um, keywords they're ranking for. And what I'll actually do is I will take this entire list, I'll copy and paste it, and then you put it into a spreadsheet. And then one by one, you will go to uh, back to Sensor Tower. And then you will add the keyword here. It is a tedious process. Um, so let's have a look at the next keyword. So let's see pocket arcade. So we'll go to sensor tower, add a new keyword, pocket arcade. And then we will check the, the metrics. Okay, so it has a traffic score of only one, which is not too bad. If you have enough uh, keywords like this ranking in the top five, you can get some decent uh, traffic out of it. So one is, I would say, is the minimum you should aim for, um, but usually I would go for a solid two. Um, then we have iPhone difficulty. To be honest, a lot of people pay a lot of attention to this difficulty scoring. 
The one that I pay most attention to is how many apps are ranking for uh, this particular keyword. So you can see here, Pocket Arcade, there's 1,143 apps ranking for this. Uh, it's quite a lot. Um, but if you look at Beer Pong, only 196. So even if the difficulty is much higher, I would still go after this um, keyword just simply because uh, the traffic's higher and there's not that many apps uh, ranking for that particular keyword. So you can see the process is pretty simple uh, using those uh, two free tools. However, one important point I want to stress is that um, a big part of my strategy is finding long tail keywords because the App Store is getting really saturated and um, it is becoming harder and harder to rank for single keywords. Um, it's not like it is 2012 where you could rank for basketball or, or football or things like that. Now it's really competitive and uh, just like uh, Google and the way SEO works, um, the more competitive it gets, the more saturated. Um, it's actually a good thing because it means more people are on the platform searching and they are searching for different longer tail keywords instead of just short tail keywords. So a great tool I use to find long tail keywords is Apple search ads. So I'm going to jump back in my computer. I'm going to show you how I go about doing that. So as you can see, we are in the Apple search ads dashboard. What you want to do is create a campaign. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly the process, what it looks like, how I find these longer tail keywords. So obviously this only works when you do have your app live. So when you do want to reiterate your ASO, it's a great way to come back here and then you choose your app. Um, okay. And okay, we just have to set all this up. Just go to the keywords tab. So we'll click search results. Um, and then obviously we want to be targeting the United States. Then we click continue. Uh, campaign name, we can call it keyword research uh, 50. You just have to fill out all these things so that you can access the keyword tabs. So here we'll go 150. And then you want to scroll down to where it says keywords and you want to add keywords to an ad group. Now this great thing about uh, Apple search as it does show you a lot of longer tail keywords that people are actually searching for. And it also gives you the popularity score. So in my experience, it's great to aim for a popularity score of two. Um, when there are two or three uh, keywords, um, longer tail keywords. So uh, this would be a good one, real money making apps because it's a long tail keyword. I can't imagine a lot of um, apps are optimized for that. Um, however, it's only got a popularity score of one. Um, these are all, all uh, great keywords also, but again, a popularity score of one, which is not bad um, if there aren't any uh, ones with a popularity score of two, then yeah, by all means add uh, these ones too. Um, so we'll go down and like this one, for example, this is a perfect one, money games, real money. Okay. If you even say it out loud, it doesn't make sense, but obviously this is what people are searching for according to Apple. Um, and it does have a good search volume. So this would be a great keyword to use. So those are basically the tools I use to look for those gems of keywords. And now the, also the important part is that um, when you are adding these keywords to your app store listing, um, you will have a keywords tab. Obviously you'll have your title and subtitle, which is very important. So you want to put the best keywords in your title and your subtitle and the rest of them into your keywords field. Uh, the other thing is you want to also make use of the Spanish Mexico uh, localization because um, for that localization, they actually index those keywords on the US App Store. So it basically allows you to double the amount of keywords you can use. And uh, a good strategy to use is um, the keywords you find on sensor and data.ai. 
you would add those to your US uh, localization and the ones that you, the longer tail ones that you find on Apple search ads I usually add those to my Spanish Mexico localization so you want to have a good mix of uh, single keywords and also longer tail keywords um, just so that you have a better chance of ranking for uh, different types of keywords on the App Store and hopefully that increases your impressions and those impressions can later on be converted into installs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some value. If you did, you know the drill, smash the like button, subscribe if you wanna uh, continue this journey with me. In the next part of the series, I'm gonna be going over uh, download velocity and why it is important if you do want to rank for those keywords. So uh, stay tuned, I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.